and Black in the starting five for Coach Owens. Franklin and Blue round out the starters for LA. Deshaun Thomas, Orlando Johnson, Yusu and Goye mixed in out in the near corner. This is what Austin likes to do, a lot of ball movement using the shot clock possession to their advantage. Kiefer Sykes pull-up jumper, rebounded but hasn't gone to their bench yet. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the great thing. You're gonna get your you're gonna get some PT in your legs back, but the <laughs> other thing is no one's coming to help you. Everybody's keeping the warm-up pants on right now on the LA bench. Can't sleep on Austin, no matter how large of a lead, this team does not give up. A very consistent, thorough basketball team, and that's why they have an 8-2 record. Trailing Yusu and Doye. Turnover on LA. Sykes bumped. And Franklin makes sure that in the lane. Black tipped it, but right in the hands of Washburn. Here comes Austin on the four on two. Sykes. Jump stop and Doye for the lay-in. Good transition, bucket in the lane. Black tipped it, but right in the hands of Washburn. Here comes Austin on the four on two. Sykes. Jump stop and Doye for the lay-in. Good transition, bucket. Tark Black and Anthony Brown still on the floor, along with Andre Ingram, Frazier, and Justin Harper for LA. This is Caddy Lillane, who hit two three-pointers in the first quarter, adds one there, and Lillane off the bench. Move to the open player, and they are very unselfish, and a la San Antonio Spurs style. Lillane was a second-round pick this season for Austin, excuse me, for San Antonio, as he hits another three-pointer, but has yet to play in an NBA game this year. Bench, I wouldn't be surprised if after these assignment players leave AC, we see him move into the starting lineup. I would not be surprised. I'm telling you, the, the, the kid can play, you know, and plays hard, keeps everyone involved. He's a good, good player. Kiefer Sykes, points, gets it to Johnson, who's put up a goose egg so far. Lane bumped, kick out, Sykes for three. And so if Lillane is going to get double teamed, he gets the assist as Kiefer Sykes gives Austin. Sykes, left hand dribble drive. Easy lay in, but somehow falls off the front of the rim. A good look. McKinney charging the other way. Sykes slips on the baseline. And then a good spin move to beat Andre Ingram, who came over that top shoulder, way around the arc to get that ball. And lay up by two. Sykes, good crossover, beats Franklin, who was caught up in the screen by Thomas. Sykes, I've been impressed with him. Franklin picked off. Sykes, three on two, and he's fouled by Black. Jamal Franklin arguing behind the play that he should have been called. Points. <laughs> I'm telling you what, don't go to Vegas right now. <laughs> so Lane, who averages only nine points on the season, blowing past that already in the first half. Eric Rothman, AC Green, Christina Kaplan here with you. Keeper Sykes is at the line, shooting for Austin. And interesting about Lillane, AC, second round draft pick by the Spurs this season, actually moved his family from Haiti when he was seven years old. Thought it was just his family moving from Haiti to the U.S. when he went to go. He'll be back. 61-60 LA back up by one. We miss Thomas around here. You're not kidding. I'm just putting him in garbage cans personally. <laughs> Keeper Sykes, the mid-range jumper. Seventh game, he tracks it down. Orlando Johnson called for the travel. It was a late whistle. And it took Don Hudson, the referee, a little while to catch up to the play. But when he did, made the right call. A travel on Johnson here in the third quarter. Yeah, as they say, it's not how you start, but it's how you finish. And we'll see what happens now. Here's Lillane. Derek Clark Black on him. Orlando Johnson. Missing his fourth field goal, still an offer for him. Offensive rebound and key for Sykes driving. As Sykes, until then, till that shot, 17 points now overall. Good head fake by Sykes. Out to Johnson, dishes to Ndoye, and Tarek Black fell down before Ndoye made it into the lanes. Franklin missing the three. 
Sykes at the elbow with the left hand drive. Beats Michael Frazier, who just came in for Vander Blue. And now Sykes. Now, our Kelly and Black's chemistry that they have in the high low passing ability to each other. Johnson curling for another three attempt. Rebound hit for that lay in. Kelly now has 27. Sykes lobbing it inside to Lillane. Give it a go, back to Sykes, missed the dunk, right the rebound, back to Sykes. Short, ball loose, offensive rebound by Wright, and one. Ball with five fouls. Harper, three-pointer, rebounded by Sykes. Six-point advantage for the Spurs. Washburn fouled again for Michael Frazier. Frazier now with nine off the bench, cuts the Austin lead down to five. Sykes inside Lillane, and fouled by Frazier. Taking a lot of them, so I'm glad to see him make, take it and make that shot. Here's Sykes backing away from the free throw circle inside the Lillane, double teamed by the flying ground. Sykes with eight on the shot clock. And Ryan Kelly was forced into a mismatch against Sykes and gave him too much room. Now under 50% shooting from the floor as Sykes now has 26 points. And Casey Lillane swing through to Sykes. Thomas, long two, good. Deshaun Thomas now 14 points on the night for him. Yeah. And they just got to find a way once again win that extra possession battle. The Sykes kick out Johnson, hand in his face, drains the three. And he says... Five to shoot for Sykes, he goes. Good strip by Frazier, but he's called for the foul. And when you have a team in the, in the bonus, you know, you can definitely stop the clock and still shrink that score. So let's see what happens here going down these last two minutes. Sykes gets the first free throw. Now 27 points for him and 27 points for Caddy Lillane. Both of them career days here against Los Angeles. And I'm sure watching tape of Friday night's game, that was not in the cards, at least for game planning against Austin. As he misses the second. Los Angeles now six and six on the year. And so Los Angeles in the middle of a five-game homestand. 